Hello everybody, in today's video I will be sharing my empties and what I mean by empties are hair products and body and skincare products that I've used all the way up so the bottle is empty and I've been saving them for about a year because I believe my last empties video was March of 2022. And so I'm really excited to share everything before I recycle it. So the first thing in here I have is the Maple Holistics Winter Edition or Winter Blend Shampoo and Conditioner. So I use this all winter and there's actually like two more official days of winter before we switch into spring or the vernal equinox. So it was perfect timing because I started this around um, the winter solstice. That's so cool. Wow. Anyways, back to my review. So this shampoo and conditioner is very near and dear to me. Full transparency, this was sent out to me. However, I bought it with my own money back in 2018. This was the first shampoo and conditioner I've ever used from Maple Holistics and I really love it. It has like a really tingly feel. It has five varieties of mint I believe in it. Um, it has spearmint, peppermint, bergamot mint, eucalyptus which has that nice tingly sensation. So I really like this shampoo and conditioner. I find it a little more moisturizing than the tea tree formula, which I talked about. And it's a little bit heavier than some of their other formulas. So this was perfect for the winter. And both the shampoo and conditioner worked so well. I'm actually a little sad that I'm out of it because I love it so much. So I would most definitely repurchase this again. Next we have the Maple Holistics Tea Tree Shampoo and the Maple Holistics Tea Tree Conditioner. So I used this pretty much the end of summer of last year all the way through fall and then I transitioned into their winter blend. So as far as like an every wash or everyday shampoo and conditioner, this is my absolute favorite. This is my Desert Island product and this is my current favorite shampoo and conditioner of all time. So I really love this blend. Now I do have oily fine straight hair and I have um, dermatitis, um, seborrheic or sebor I don't know. I don't feel like looking it up right now on how to pronounce it. But basically I get that where sometimes I get dry patches or they come out like oily or just, it is just a pain in the butt. But I find that this really helps it. It's the best natural formula I found for it and it's just really good for my hair. Now, if you have more dry hair, this might, you know, dry your hair out because tea tree is more suitable for oily types however it can be used for all hair types so, so i really love this i would definitely repurchase this the next one is the aqua blue tea tree oil clarifying shampoo and then the aqua blue tea tree clarifying conditioner now i do like this formula however after comparing it with the Maple Holistics, I find that the Maple Holistics just works a little better. Sometimes this will leave, ooh, looks like it exploded. Anyways, sometimes this would leave my hair looking very silky and shiny and voluminous. And then other times it would cause my hair to have kind of like a greasy, filmy like and I'm not sure what it is because Aqua Blue and Maple Holistics are almost like sister brands. I don't know if they're related, but if you look at the ingredients, 
they're very, very similar. So I'll just compare really quick. So the first couple ingredients in the Aqua Blue Shampoo is water, sodium, cocal, isolate, cocoa, middle, propyl, betaine, sodium, laurel, amphacetate. I'll just post it for you guys. And then the first few ingredients of maple is water, sodium, cocal, isonate, cocoa, middle, propyl, betaine, and then the sodium, laura, the long word that I don't feel like pronouncing, is also in it. But it's important to keep in mind just because something has the same ingredients, it's kind of like if you're baking, right? Like one person could put maybe a smidge more of sugar and that could make all the difference. So just because it's the same, we don't know the exact concentration and we don't know the exact um, brand and source where they're getting it from, right? So there's so, so many factors, but the formulas, as I was saying, have similar ingredients. I just overall like Maple Holistics better because it gives my hair more volume. And so, you know, I'm not going to say I would never buy this again or because I am, I think I'm still affiliated with them. If Aqua Blue were to send me free shampoo and conditioner of this, I would definitely take it. Just being real with you guys, right? Because it does work for my hair, just not all the time. Let me rephrase that. Nothing works for my hair all the time, but the other formula works for my hair more so than this. I am so sorry if I just made that more complicated. But yeah, I, you know, I would buy it again, say the Maple Holistic brand, you know, stopped carrying the tea tree oil, then I would buy this, or if I was gifted it again, or if it was on sale and it was a really good price, then I would buy it. Absolutely. What do we have next? Oh, this is Everyone 3-in-1 Soap. This is the Cedar and Citrus. I love this. Now, this is one of the sulfate shampoos that I use. I talked about it in my sulfate video. It contains sodium cocoa sulfate. So it is a sulfate that's derived from coconuts. However, it's different than coconut oil. It doesn't make my hair greasy like coconut oil does. So I was really impressed with this. I've used um, some of their other formulas. This one is just super earthy and woodsy and I love, love the scent. And I like that it's multi-purpose. I've also used it as a body wash. I've taken bubble baths and so I really like this. Um, and I wasn't gifted this. It's something I bought and will continue to buy on my own because a lot of times this will go on sale at like health food stores and some grocery stores might have it like in the natural section. Oh, and sometimes Marshalls or TJ Maxx has organic shampoos and conditioners or more natural, I should say, for a really good price. Next, um, this isn't a hair product, but it's the Lafia Everyday Shea Bubble Bath. And this was normal to very dry skin. I was gifted this. Um, I don't know if it was for a birthday or what, but people know that I love lavender. So I always love receiving herbal gifts. And so this was really nice. Um, it's You have to use a little more than traditional bubble bath because it is natural. But I do love that it moisturized my skin. I used it a lot in the winter time. And sometimes what I would do is I would mix this with a little bit of Epsom salt and it just was so relaxing. The lavender, the salt, oh, I'm feeling it. So yeah, I would buy this again, even though I didn't buy it, I, it was gifted to me like from a person, not, not the company. But yeah, I would totally buy this for sure. Feels like there's still stuff in here. Oh, maybe it's water because I rinse these out. This is the Refreshing Lemon Hand and Body Lotion from Avalon Organics. I used to love this brand. I mean, I still do, but I don't really use their shampoo and conditioner 
ever since they changed their formulas, they just aren't the same. Or my hair changed. I think it's a combo of both, but I could go on and on and make a whole video about that, but I do not want to bore you with my hypothesis, hypotheses. And this was the hand and body lotion, so I really liked it. It had a really nice scent. I always love lemon and citrus. The only thing though that I will say with it being citrusy is if you are, you know, um, what's the word, clumsy and you get a lot of cuts, the lemon can sometimes sting. And I found it was good for my body, but my hands just get ridiculously dry, you know, um, from living in a dry environment. Um, I, when I do stuff with plants, I like to just dig my hands in the soil. I know I could use gloves and even when I clean, so I don't know, my hands are always dry and cracked. And so sometimes I found this would actually dry my hands out more or make it sting. So I like this for my body, but not so much for my hands. Um, would I buy it again? Maybe. Maybe if it was on sale, because it looks like I got it on clearance somewhere for $7.99. That's still pretty pricey though for 12 fluid ounces of lotion. Um, I don't know. You know, it's one of those things like, yeah, if it's on sale, but I'm not going to like rush out and buy it. Next, I have the Innate Life Herbal Shampoo, Bergamot and Lemon. So this is a nice and light shampoo. However, sometimes it will leave my hair, you know, if I use it a bunch of times in a row, I will get that kind of flat, limp feel. And I believe I was gifted this from the company. And another thing is, I live in the US and this is a um, Canadian brand, so there's also the shipping cost and such. And I'm not affiliated with this brand anymore, I used to be. So just being, again, very transparent with you all. Um, I would get it again if like they sent it to me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna turn down the shampoo. Like it's not that awful where I would write the company like, oh, it doesn't work. Because I do, if a product doesn't work, you guys, like I said, I don't promote it. But I'm not gonna like jump out and reorder it. So I like this shampoo, it's just not, my favorite but it's it does smell really nice I love that lemon you know earthy kind of scent and yeah it's a decent shampoo again I just have picky hair and maybe I'm picky I don't know I always like to think I'm open-minded but now I'm like why am I Ooh, this is slimy oh I really liked this formula um I don't know why I just got so excited about shampoo guys um, this is the Aqua Blue Argon one, and this is really moisturizing. I used this, was it last spring or the spring before? Honestly, everything is a blur. I'm, I'm getting ready to move right now, so like, yeah, I, I can't remember. My short-term memory is just shit right now, but I really like this shampoo and conditioner. Um, and I like that this one was fragrance free because some other formulas have like a strong perfumey smell even though they are natural. This one like has more of that vanilla kind of earthy smell. The only thing is I believe they changed their formula since this one because this is like the old bottles. But if I could get this exact formula, I would totally repurchase this. This um, might be actually my favorite shampoo and conditioner from Aqua Blue. And I really like their lavender Aqua Blue. If I were to purchase from Aqua Blue, I think I would either get if they have that exact formula with the Argon, or I would get their lavender oil or their lavender vanilla. Another one. Oh, Moray. This must be so old because I used this at my old apartment. Um, I remember this was something I was sent and the mask did work pretty nice. But again, it's one of those things. It's not my favorite hair mask. 
so I wouldn't repurchase it on my own um, because I like John Masters Organics so much more than this and it's more affordable. I mean, this is good. Give it a try if, if you know, somebody's promoting it, you can use their code. I know I promoted it in the past. It's nice, but I think there's better stuff out there. I didn't mean to throw that so dramatically either. Ooh, the Body Cuticles um, Calendula, which has like hair stuck to it. This is amazing. It's a herbal mixture, so I've used this for many um, hair rinses. And it's composed of calendula flowers, rose petals, lavender, and chamomile or chamomile, however you say it. And it looks very romantic. You know, you can put it in baths and you can use it to open up your sinuses. And I've probably bought like three or four of these. I love it. I definitely will be buying this again because I like that like all the herbs are together. Like I know I could buy the herbs separate, but sometimes it's more economical just to get it all together. Or if you're ever shopping for herbs, sometimes it can be a hassle because I always like a lot of obscure things, I guess. Like they're always out of them. I'm like, oh, I guess everybody's doing witchy shit. <laughs> And then um, the Body Suticles Calendula Vanilla Avocado. This used to be my all-time favorite hair oil. I do like it. And um, oh, what I really like it for actually is removing makeup. It's so nice on my skin. It's a little heavy on my hair. However, I am going to be moving like to a whole different geographical location like that's going to be more humid and such so this might work better when I move I don't know so yeah I would totally buy it but I would probably use it more for my skin but just try it out on my hair and just a teeny teeny bit because I do notice that a little inconsistency where sometimes I would use it on my hair my hair would be soft and fluffy and you know all beautiful and then other times it would just be like limp and just I don't know why I'm making like a beard with my hair but anyways yeah it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't oh this is Vanna cream gentle facial cleanser I've been using this for years um, I used to use like organic um, face wash from Avalon Organics, but I found drugstore to be the best for my oily, acne prone skin slash combo skin because it does get dry in some areas, you know, dermatitis and whatnot. So I really like this. Um, I'm using it again. So yes, I do buy it again. Oh. I have two rose elixirs that I used up and one of them's all crusty. Ew. I gotta clean that. I do love the rose hair elixir. So from the Innate Life, as I mentioned, the shampoo, I probably wouldn't repurchase on my own, but the rose hair elixir, yes, I would repurchase it on my own. I believe one of them was gifted to me and I think one of them I purchased and I no longer have a code, but I think I used like Organically Anna's discount code. Um, I always like to support fellow long hair people. And I never want to put pressure on you guys to buy from me. Like I have a full time regular job, but anyways, it's always nice, I think, to um, just show appreciation to creators you like. So, anyways. The Rose Hair Elixir is amazing. I love it. I love the smell of it. I love how it makes my hair feel. And these last me a long time because I only use one or two drops for my almost classic length hair. So again though, um, it totally depends on your hair type. Some people use more, some use less. I never use it on my scalp though. Actually, I'll put it in here. And then the last thing is, ooh, this has like conditioner on it. It's the Giovanni Too Chic Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is the one with charcoal. It is nice. I might buy it if these are on sale. And I do remember it made my hair feel really soft. Um, 
My problem was the scent is a bit strong and you only get it in these small packets. So um, I still like the John Masters Organics better. And then I just wanted to include this. It's the Selsun Blue Naturals. I only have like this much left. So I don't know, maybe like five or six more washes. Um, and as I mentioned, I am moving. So even though I use this more as a clarifying shampoo, I might use it a little more just so I can get rid of it. And you know what I mean? It's just one less thing to carry. Um, but I really like this. I've been using this now for a couple years as my clarifying shampoo or when I notice that the natural stuff is not helping my dermatitis, then I will use this. Um, and so it does have sulfates, as I mentioned in my video. Um, it has ammonium lauryl sulfate and ammonium laureth sulfate. They are more harsh than the cocoa sulfate, but they're not as harsh as sodium laurel or laureth. Um, so, you know, if you're not overusing this, I don't think it's going to be too rough on your scalp. But again, you do you. If you are sulfate free or you find sulfates irritate you, then this isn't for you. But if you're open to sulfates or have some kind of tolerance towards sulfates, I definitely recommend this. And this was recommended by one of my social media friends with a similar hair type. So I always do appreciate when you guys recommend things to me. I don't always get to them. And I know sometimes on Instagram, I don't always read your messages. So the best way, if you have a product recommendation, is to actually write it on my YouTube channel because I read all my comments, unless they're like spam or whatever, like click this video or I made a thousand dollars from this website. Then you just get deleted, you know. But that was my empties. Let me guys know if you found this video helpful, if you want me to continue making empties, or if I did not thoroughly go over a product. If you have any more questions, please leave them down below. Or if you have experience with any of these products and maybe a different experience than myself, please share. Like I love to hear that. And again, if you do have recommendations, leave them down for me below. I will read your comments. If you found this video of value, give me a thumbs up. And as always, I will see you on my next video. Farewell.